Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Excel Sessions and today we will learn how to filter the data set and copy the filter data in other sheet using VBA. In VBA, auto filter method of range object is used to filter a list. In this example, we have sales data and created a sub procedure filter data in the module in VBA editor. To use auto filter method, type worksheets, open bracket, sheet name is data dot range, open bracket, a1 dot auto filter. If we are not using any argument, this will toggle the display of auto filter drop down arrows in the specified range. Now run the macro and it will display or remove the auto filter drop down to the columns. Now you can use any cell reference of the data set. So instead of A1, I can use B1, C1 or D1. Remember, the specified range should be part of the data set. So if the data is starting from row number four and we use D1 in the range, it will throw error because D1 is not the part of the data set. So the range should be D4. Now run the macro and it will toggle the auto filter drop down arrows. To display data of east area only, we will use field and criteria argument of auto filter method. So in VBA, after dot filter, type field colon equals to two comma criteria one colon equals to east. Now run the macro and it will display data of east area only. Now here field argument refers the column number which we want to filter and criteria one is the criteria based on which we are filtering the data. Now change the value of criteria one parameter to north, run the macro and it will display data of north area only. To display data where unit is more than 250, the value of field will be five because unit is fifth column in the data set and criteria one will be greater than 250. Now, before running the macro, add auto filter method without argument. Now run the macro and it will display all rows where unit is more than 250. If we have two conditions, then we will use criteria two and operator arguments. Operator argument is used to combine both conditions. For example, to display the data where area is north or south, the field value will be two because area is the second column. Criteria one will be north, then comma, use operator, colon equals to, the value of operator will be XLR, comma, criteria, two colon equals to south in double quotes. Now run the macro and it will display data where area is either north or south. Now similarly to display data where units is less than 500 and greater than 300, change value of field to five because unit is the fifth column the criteria one will be greater than 
300 and the criteria 2 will be less than 500. Change the operator to Excel and run the macro and it will display all values where unit is greater than 300 and less than 500. To apply criteria on multiple columns, we have to repeat auto filter method. So to display data of north or south area, the field value will be 2 and the criteria 1 will be north. Operator will be Excel or and criteria 2 will be south. Similarly, to apply the filter on product, we will copy the same line. The field value will be 3 because product is column number 3 and the criteria 1 will be TV and criteria 2 will be O1. Now run the macro and it will display the data of north or south area where product is either TV or O1. Now to display all the names starting from A, we can use wildcard character in criteria parameter. The name is column A, so the field value will be 1 and the criteria will be A asterisk sign as a wildcard character. Remove the other parameters. Now run the macro and it will show all the names which are starting from A. Now in the same criteria, if I change the value to C star and then run the macro, it will not display any value because there is no name which is starting from C. To copy the filtered rows in new sheet, I have created a new sub procedure copy data. In this line, auto filter mode property will return true if the auto filter drop down arrows are displayed on the sheet. If the filter is not applied, then auto filter mode will return false and it will display message box and exit from the sub procedure. I have removed the auto filter from the sheet. Now run the macro copy data and it will show the message box. Now if filter is applied, then special cells method will return the number of visible cells or filtered cells including header and to exclude the header from counting one is subtracted if number of filtered rows is more than zero then auto filter dot range dot copy method will copy the filtered cells and paste data from a1 cell of filtered sheets else it will clear the contents of the filtered cell and will display the message box now before copying the data or if no filtered rows are available we have added clear contains property to clear all the existing contained run the macro filter data run the macro copy data and it will copy the data where area is east or north in the filtered sheet. Now I am filtering the data where the name is starting from C. There is no filtered row. Now run the copy data macro and it will show message box that no filtered rows available. And before that, it will clear all the existing data from filtered sheet. 
So in this way, you can copy the filtered data from one sheet to another sheet. Now in this sheet, the data is starting from row number five and cell B1 is showing distinct values of area and all option. Now to filter the data set based on the value selected in cell B1, we will add change event in app sheet. Now in change event, we will first checking the cell address which should be B1. Now if there is change in B1 cell and value selected is all, then we will remove applied filter by using the auto filter method without any parameter. If the value is not all, then we will use field and criteria parameter. The value of field will be 2 because area is second column in the data set and value of criteria 1 will be cell B1 value. So if I change to all, it will show all the data and if I select other than all, it will filter the data based on the area selected. So in this way, you can filter the data using auto filter method in VBA and can copy the filter data from one sheet to another. If you like the content, press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thanks for watching.